Hello guys, I'm back with another new tutorial and I'll show you how to make this. So I will show you how you can make this type of countdown timer animation by using only powerpoint. So without wasting your time, let's start creating. Here I have already taken a blank slide. So first go to design, click on format background and from here change the background color to black. Now close it, go to home, pick a rectangle shape, drag it over here. Go to format, click on shape fill and change the color to white. Then go to shape outline, make no outline. Press ctrl D to make a duplicate. After that click on rotate and select rotate right 90 degree. Then just drag it over here holding the ctrl button. Select this two shape. Go to format, click on merge shape and make them union. Now holding the shift key, rotate this one. Then click on align, select align middle. Now again holding the shift key, place it to here. Holding ctrl shift, drag it to left and it will be duplicated. Again holding ctrl shift, drag it to left. And again holding ctrl shift, drag it to left. Now holding the ctrl button, select all these four shapes and press ctrl G to make them group. Now press ctrl D to duplicate, click on rotate, select flip horizontal. Then just bring it to here. Click on align, select align middle. Again press ctrl D to duplicate. Click on rotate, select rotate 90 degree left. Again bring it to here. Again press ctrl D to duplicate, click on rotate and select rotate vertical. And bring it to here. After that we need to pick a oval shape, holding ctrl shift drag it over here. Then go to format, click on shape fill and change the color to white. Again go to shape outline, make no outline. Now click on align, select align center. Again click on align, select align middle. Now what we need to do, we need to hold the control button and select all these four group of shapes. Then place it in the exact middle of our slide. After doing this, pick a hollow circle, holding control shift, drag it over here. Now drag this yellow dot to make it a thinner one. Then go to format, click on shape fill and change the color to black. Then go to shape outline, make no outline. Now click on align and select align center. Again click on align, select align middle. Now press ctrl D to duplicate this hollow circle holding ctrl shift, resize it. Click on align, select align center. Again click on align, select align middle. Then zooming a bit, drag this yellow dot to make it much thinner one. Here again we need to pick a oval shape holding ctrl shift make it a smaller one. Go to format, click on shape fill and change the color to black. Again go to shape outline make no outline. Now holding ctrl shift drag it to the right and it will be duplicated. Now select this two and press ctrl G to group them together. After that we need to pick a text box and drag it over here. Type a number select all the text, change the font to agency FB, change the font size to 245, make it bold and center. Now select the text box, go to format, click on align and select align center. Again click on align, select align middle. This time is for adding the animation. So first select this shape, go to animation, select fly in. Now from effect option, select from left. After that, we need to keep it on click and set the duration to 0.75 seconds. Again select this shape and to copy the animation, click on animation painter. Then paste the animation on this shape. Now from effect option, set it from right. And change start with previous. Now to copy the animation, again click on animation painter and paste the animation on it. Then from effect option, set it from top. Again click on animation painter and paste the animation on it. Then again from effect option set it from bottom. Now if you start the slideshow you can see that our animation is working perfectly. 
After that, we need to select this text box and holding Ctrl Shift drag it to here. Then change the number to 8. Now again select this text box, go to animation, click on animation pane to look over our animation status. Then click on add animation and from here select disappear. Now set start with previous duration 0.01 second and delay 1 second. Now we need to select this text box, click on add animation and select appear. Set start with previous duration 0.01 second and delay 1 second. Again click on add animation and select disappear. Now set start with previous duration 0.01 second and delay 2 seconds. After that from animation pane select this appear animation, click on this drop down arrow and from here click on this effect option. Now from here I'll set the click sound and then press ok. Now again select this text box, click on format, click on align and select align center. Now again holding ctrl shift drag this one over here and it will be duplicated. As well as you can see our previous animations has also been duplicated so I'm just changing the number then select the appear animation from animation pane, go to animation and increase the delay to 2 seconds. So that number 7 appears when number 8 disappears. Now select the disappear animation of this number 7 and increase the delay to 3 seconds. Then again select this text box, go to format, click on align and select align center. Again holding ctrl shift drag it over here and change the number to 6. Now again go to animation, click on this appear animation, increase the delay to 3 seconds. Then select the disappear animation, increase the delay to 4 seconds. Again select this text box, go to format, click on align and select align center. Again holding ctrl shift drag this text box over here and change the number to 5. Now go to animation, select this appear animation, increase the delay to 4 seconds. Now select this disappear animation and increase the delay to 5 seconds. Again select this text box, go to format, click on align and select align center. Once again holding ctrl shift drag the text box over here, change the number to 4. Now go to animation, select the appear animation, increase the delay to 5 seconds, then select the disappear animation and increase the delay to 6 seconds. Now again select the text box, go to format, click on align and select align center. Here you can see that I am just repeating the same animation process again and again. So just to save your time, I am doing the rest of the number animation in fast forward mode. These are really simple steps, you just need to make a copy of previous animated text box, then change the number, then increase the delay time of appear and disappear animation, then go to format and send the text box in the center of our slide. After that for the last time holding ctrl shift drag this text box over here, increase the text box size and type start here. Now select all the text, go to home and decrease the font size to 98 point. Then I'm just resizing the size of this text box, select this appear animation, go to animation and increase the delay to 10 seconds. Now select this disappear animation, right click on it and select remove. After that to change the sound effect of this appear animation, click on this drop down arrow and select effect option. Now from here I'm just using this whoosh sound. Then press ok. Now select this text box again, go to format, click on align and select align middle. Then again click on align and select align center. And we're done with our animation. Here you can see our animation is working. You can download this template for free, I have given the download link in the video description. If you have enjoyed this tutorial, make sure like and subscribe this channel. And don't forget to share with your friends. Hope to see you in the next tutorial and thanks for watching.